What's up, everybody? Um, today's date is August 12th, and what are we talking about today, Ben? We're talking about Where? what was the Apostle Paul's thorn in the flesh. And that's what we're going to be talking, talking, <laughs> talking, tonk, tonk. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's, in today's daily devotional. Daily devotionals, not just with me, but also with my wife, Shira, in the Inspired by God YouTube channel. Please subscribe. And again, my name is Tilla. You guys can follow me on all social media. My wife does not have a card here, a greeting card or whatever you call it, or a lower third, because we did this last minute. I wanted her to do this. Well, she wanted to do this, actually, because I have a toothache, and she's helping me out, and my tooth hurts. My jaw hurts right now, and uh, but for some reason, I can't stop talking. Anyways, August 12th, again, what is the... Um, question today, babe. What was the Apostle Paul's thorn in the flesh? Mm -hmm. And what where are we reading from? We are reading from Doug Batchelor's 365 Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll read. Um, Lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan the, to buffet me, Lest I be exalted above measure. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 7. <clears throat> Many Bible scholars believe that Paul had a problem with his vision. There are, there are a number of Bible texts that support this theory. 1. When he was converted, Paul, then named Saul, went, went blind. Acts 9, verse 8 and 9. Then in verse 18, it says that scales fell from his eyes and he could see again, but it doesn't say that he saw perfectly. Paul often had other people write his letters for him, even though he was very brilliant, spoke many languages, and was very well educated. He only signed these letters. One time he said, See with what large letters I have written to you with my own hand. Galatians 6 verse 11. That didn't mean he'd written a long letter. It meant he wrote bit with big characters, probably because he couldn't see. 3. When he addressed the Sanhedrin in Acts 23, he denounced the high priest. Verse 3. The people standing nearby replied, Do you revile God's high priest? Verse 4. Paul responded, I did not know, brethren, that he was the high priest. Verse 5. He wasn't able to see that one that the one he addressed was the high priest, and he immediately apologized for his error. And four, in one epistle, Paul spoke of the church's love for him by saying, If possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and given them to me. That's Galatians 4 verse 15. People must have known he had a problem with his eye, so I believe the thorn in Paul's flesh was his poor vision. His thorn was similar to when Jacob wrestled with an angel, Jacob had a limp for the rest of his life after that experience. When Paul was converted, he temporarily went blind, but he still had sight problems the rest of his life. It was a blessing in disguise. All right. So that is today's daily devotional in August 12. Um, one thing that was new to me is that I didn't know Paul had poor vision. Um, well, I didn't really notice that Paul had poor vision. And also, I didn't know that Jacob had a limp the rest of his life. So, again, that is today's Daily Devotionals, August 12. Thank you guys for coming through, and thank you, my wife, um, Shira, for reading this for me, and because I have a toothache, and it's causing me to lisp. <laughs> so, if you guys were blessed by this uh, Daily Devotionals, Please like and share. Share with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your relatives, anybody who you know would be blessed by this daily devotional. And also, guys, if you are new to this uh, channel and you guys want more Christian content and daily devotionals and things like that, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to hit the bell so that you guys can get notified every time we upload new videos. And uh, uh, my guest appear. I mean, my guest here, my wife, might do more future videos. <laughs> uh, soon 
And if you guys want to support this ministry, you guys can do so by praying for this online video ministry and also donating at schoolforprofits.tv. We will take the donat donations. We will use it for more Bible study films and Bible study videos and uh, Bible for beginners. And also we use the donations to advertise those uh, films and these videos so that we can reach more people. Thank you guys again. Praise God always. And we will see you guys next time. And also we will see you guys in the Discord if you guys join. Link is in the description box. Peace.